Hey everyone, welcome back to part number four of my NU session with my NU team. And I actually took a little bit of a break uh, from this team and actually from Pokemon Showdown in general for a little bit because I had to focus on my summer school stuff. So that is that. Uh, this team is a little bit of annoying. We're going to have to watch out for this guy as well as really everything. Uh, can do some damage. So I think... We can't really mess around. I think I'm going to go straight into Ditto, so I can, you know, see what he's doing and kind of scout from there. But let's go ahead and start the timer on this guy, because we like to do that. We don't like people taking their good old time. Uh, there's Golark, and Golark can be annoying. Um, I think he's probably... I'm not sure what he's going to do, but I think I'll just Dynamic Punch and go from there. Um, but maybe that's not the best idea. Should I Earthquake? I don't know. No, he's ground type. Let me check my handy dandy Poke Pokemon application to see what he's weak to. I know he's weak to Ghost, but we don't really... can't. That's not really an option at the moment. Uh, Golark. There he is. Stats. He uh, just Ghost, Ice, Dark, all that fun stuff. I think, unless he stone edges, I don't think he'll stone edge on my ditto. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into Sheninja here. If he chooses to Stealth Rock, that's fine. We have Sheninja already in. Um, he is going to Stealth Rock, so that's okay with me. Now he might go for the stone edge. I don't really care. I am going to go for the Shadow Sneak. And doesn't look like that's going to get the two hit KO. There is the stone edge. Super effective. But... We should be able to knock this thing out with a Sucker Punch, as long as he stays in here. And we, we definitely want this thing out of the way. We don't want to fool around with this thing at all. Uh, it's, it's definitely a very annoying Pokemon, for sure. So I'm hoping that, you know, Shadow Sneak did 38%. Uh, I'm hoping that our... This will... Oh, it, okay, it doesn't kill it, which is unfortunate, but... We're going to get knocked out here, and now I am going to go into something that is faster, obviously, because that's what we got to do. So, I'm going to go into Ditto, and we don't really have to worry about the rocks too much now. We are going to transform, and he forfeited? Why? That makes no sense to me. Okay. Let's go ahead and get another battle! That, 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 that makes no sense. Okay, let's see what this guy has. This guy only has... No, he has... Okay, he does have six Pokemon. Pikachu didn't show up. Uh, interesting team! All of his Pokemon are shiny. Except maybe... I don't know what... I don't know what the shiny version of Togetic looks like, or whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead... I predict him to lead with either Flareon or Floatzel. So, let's lead with our Torkoal. There is the Flareon. Alright, I'm, I'm sensing some kind of flame charge. He, he probably is maybe Guts, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But I'm going to Stealth Rock, and something's going to pop up in front of my screen that's going to annoy me quite a lot. Uh, and I'm going to exit out of that screen. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Stealth Rock, so we get that up, which is nice. Now, what can he do to us? He's probably going to Dragon Dance or something like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Toxic this thing. There is the Cotton Guard. But we Toxic this thing, which is nice. And now, why is all these things popping up? I don't want them to pop up. There we go. Okay. That's over. Um, now, we, we need this thing out of here. Now, I don't know if he can hit us with anything. I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. I think the best thing to do here is just to go into Shininja and see what he's going to do from there. Oh, he toxic us! Oh, why would you toxic in that situation? That makes no sense to me. Maybe he predicted my Shininja. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I was going to go into Ditto, though. And we are going to, hopefully he's going to stay in here. 
And wow, this is a very weird set for this thing. Okay. Well, I'm going to Fire Blast. And it's. Uh, it's okay, it's good to know what his moveset is, though. He got that Cotton Guard. Let's, let's double check that. Cotton Guard, Roost, Toxic, Fire Blast. So that's, that's good. Um, he is going to switch out here and go into Flareon. Uh, he's probably going to get that Flash Fire boost. Okay, he, he's not Flash Fire, so he has Guts and he has Toxic Orb. So that's okay. Now, what we do. Let's go back into Torkoal here, because he's the only one that could really take anything from Flareon. There's the Flame Charge, we resist that like a boss. He's going to get a speed boost, but that's okay. Uh, now, I think the best thing to do is just to Earthquake, and if he goes back into Alteria, that's fine with me. I'll just switch out into something else, um, probably Muck, to be honest. It's probably the best thing to go into there. So we could double switch out here, but I, I would rather just play it safe. And uh, if, if he if he stays in and we go into muck, then we're in trouble. So better just play it safe and go ahead and earthquake and go from there. Uh, the question is, can he kill me with a with a facade? And uh, we do live that pretty well. And uh, we are going to knock him out with an Earthquake, so that's good we didn't over try to overpredict that too much there. So, things are looking pretty good. He has a pretty big weakness to these rocks, which is definitely really nice. Uh, okay. Now, somehow he got rid of the Toxic. I don't know if that's some kind of ability or, or, or what, but I am going to go into Muck here for sure. He's probably going to Cotton Guard. Uh, if he does, he's going to Toxic, which is actually very good for us. And now I am going to predict a switch. I think I'm just going to Poison Jab here. Because he can't hit us with anything. He has Fire Blast. It's not going to do too much. I don't see him Fire Blast. Okay, he's going to Fire Blast. Uh, whatever you want to do, sir. Um, but I am going to Poison Jab. That does get that Stab and that Poison. So... Uh, realistically, what can he switch into at this point? And uh, he has the. Okay, so I think. Hmm. The question is, what is the best thing to hit him with? And I think the answer might be the brick break. From here, he's gonna roost. Uh, I'm I'm really okay with that. Uh, to be honest, that's gonna get a crit. If he's gonna stay in, then I might as well just ice ice punch. But. You know, he can't really do anything to us. I think I'm just going to keep on brick breaking. Maybe not, though. <laughs> I think Poison Jab is probably the way to go. Alright, we're going to knock him out regardless of what he do does here. Poison should knock him out. Actually, well, he has leftovers, so never mind. It wouldn't have knocked him out anyways. We're just going to continue to Poison Jab. Fire Blast is not going to do any. That's going to get a crit hit! And a burn! Oh god, you know, what can you do, really, what what can you do, I don't under, I don't, you know, I can't, <laughs> yeah. it's a crit hit and burn, plus the hit itself, you know, 85% move, uh, but the rocks are up, we, we still have our, you know, our, our guys here, so, we're looking pretty solid. I'm uh, hoping to at least eliminate one one more from his team with my muck. If he can do that, that'd be fantastic. Honestly, I probably could have swept with muck if he if he didn't burn. But uh, what can you do? Um, Frost loss. I'm just gonna poison jab. It's probably the best thing to do. Yep, there's the waterfall. It's gonna knock us out, unfortunately. But now I'm going to go into my executor. And I am going to leech see whatever comes in. He's not going to stay in here. If he does, I'll be surprised. And quite happy, to be honest. <laughs> but leech see, definitely the way to go here. If he wants to take his good old time. I have, I've never played Togetic, Togetic, uh, Togetic before, so I don't really know what to expect from him. I don't know what abilities he has, but the rocks is definitely going to hurt. Um, and if, if we get the Leech Seed off, because I'm predicting him to switch into that, I mean, you know, that'd be, that'd be the smart thing to do at least. Uh, it's going to Togetic, toga but not not really sure. 
what he's going to do there. If he ever goes, that is. He might be just so stunned at our our abilities to uh, beat up on his team that he's just not going to not going to go. Okay, while we're doing while we're doing this, while we're fooling around and jibber jabbing and all that, let's go ahead and look up Togetic, just for future references. If he does go into it, what what is it weak to? Uh, Togetic is. Let me go back. It is normal flying, which makes 100% sense. And there it is. And it is immune. No, it's it's weak to ice, electric, and rocks. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to protect. See what he see what he has on him. See what he, see what's going for him here. I'm gonna protect. Get some uh, leech seed damage. Fire blast. Okay, that's kind of predictable there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into my Torkoal to take the fire blast. And if he switches out, then uh, that's fine with me. There's the fire blast. This time he does not get the crit. And we can easily live like three of these, to be honest. Uh, now, I think what I might do is toxic whatever he wants to bring in. If he, if he switches out, then uh, something's toxic. If he doesn't switch out, then this thing is going to die. And we're going get, to continue to get more health back. So that's fine with me. There is a hyper voice. Okay, there is the toxic. And now it's time for you to die. <laughs> but he doesn't die, unfortunately. Um, well, Hyper Voice did 31%. I think what we might do is go into Ditto here, but I don't know if I want to risk that. I think I'm just going to... Let's just get a Rapid Spin kill. <laughs> Hyper Voice is going to live with 7%, and we're just going to Rapid Spin just to do as much damage as we can because the combination of the toxic and the leech seed will knock him out, give us more health and that is good for us. Now he's probably going to go into Frostloss, not what am I saying, Frostloss, uh, Floatzel. And if he goes into Frostloss there then we are just going to stay in, let this thing die. If we can get a toxic up, you know, that'd be fantastic. He doesn't go into Pikachu though. Now, if I can manage to get a Earthquake off, that'd be great. I'd really enjoy that if we can get an Earthquake off. Uh, but that Thunderbolt is going to kill us, which is fine. Alright, now we shall go into... Um, hmm. Let's go into Executor here. And I'm going to Leech Seed again. Thunderbolt shouldn't do too much. And because uh, we're, we're pretty specially defensive and we have the harvest still so that should be oh but he's gonna get a crit hit hidden power super effective so that might be game that might be game okay well you know you can only do so much honestly in this game you can only you can only you know do so much uh, I'm gonna Giga Drain and if he goes into Flow Sloss, or why am I, why keep on saying Flow Sloss? Float Soul, if he goes into Float Soul, I'll be happy. If he doesn't, then, uh, you know what, I'm going to cancel that and see what Pikachu is weak to. I know he's weak to fighting, but our muck got uh, crit hit burned, so we couldn't really resort to that. Uh, Pikachu, the most famous Pokemon in all of existence, is weak to ground, just times one to grass. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, is just... Do I want to do that? We are electric type. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's just Giga Drain here. He's going to Volt Switch. Volt Switch into this thing. Do it. Do it. Do it. Floatzel. Go into Floatzel. Go into Floatzel. Oh, go into Floatzel. Oh, there's Electros. Okay, that's fine too. Now, it could be kind of sneaky here and... Uh, we can have two frost losses or two two electrosses, but I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm just gonna keep Giga Draining, Giga Drain away, and you know it'd be nice to get a crit. Just saying, there's a Drain Punch. Okay, uh, so we're pretty much just trading off damage here. Uh, we can take him out with two though. Actually, we might not be able to, but we can't go into Ditto because that's gonna be 
a lot of damage really fast. So I have to just stay in here, unfortunately, and just keep on Giga Draining away. And uh, it's 20, 27%. Dragon Tail. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you just basically put me into the same situation here. Let's see what, what, what he has. Okay, Coil. Huh. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna Drain Punch though. And that doesn't kill him. Ooh, we might die from this. Oh, no, okay, we're good. Uh, these things keep on popping up. This is really annoying. Okay, hopefully that doesn't show up on the screen. I have no idea, though. Alright, so that Drain Punch did... 20%. I'm gonna Drain Punch again. We are locked into Drain Punch. So... That's a little unfortunate, but... What we have to do at this point is just continue to drain punch and see what he's going to do. Uh, he might... If he wild charges, he's dead. So I don't think he's going to do that. He lives with 3%. There is the another drain punch. Now if he uh, wants to switch out, I think he could actually live from the rocks. So he might do that, but he's just going to stay in here and take it. Good job, Ditto. You took out the Electros. I guess I have two... Electros is now <laughs> on my on my team. So uh, dual Electros for the win. Now all that he has left is Pikachu and Floatzel. Did I say it right that time? No, I didn't. Flo yeah, I did. Floatzel. So if he goes into Floatzel, I'll switch into... How am I going to do this? I think either way I have to stay with Ditto. Unfortunately. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Come on, sir! Stop taking your good old time here. Stop taking your good old time. I have a commentary to record and all the people are watching. And they want to find out what goes on next. So there is the Floatzel, unfortunately. And I think, honestly, I, the only thing I could really do is just Drain Punch here. That's going to kill us. So... Uh, that is unfortunate. I thought I'd be faster for sure, but I guess I'm not. Now it's all up to Electros and his uh, Giga Drain powers and uh, Waterfall. See, I don't... How is that Waterfall doing that much damage? That's what I... That's my question. Uh, because that's electric type. Shouldn't do 71%. Okay, well, on in the next game. That's a little disappointing. Got some hacks going against us, but uh, what can you do?